Good morning, everybody. It is the Monday after Sunday. <laughs> it's uh, the sixth day of Lent. First week. First week. And we are headed into St. Andrew's Church. We're a few minutes late. God, forgive us. And we are in Waterbury, Vermont. Say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Here we are at St. Andrew's Church in Waterbury, Vermont. This church is pretty old. It dates back to 1876. And I've decided to step out here because they're saying the rosary in there after mass and I didn't want to disturb them. The gospel is really beautiful today. As Jesus said, um, you know, whatever you do to the least of these, you do it to me. So it was just a reminder to me to um, to try to do everything that I can for others, especially for those who are who are struggling in one way or another. So, and we have this, and we should be doing it all year round, but of, of course, especially during Lent. So here's today's reflection, the first Monday of Lent from... Um, I know I mentioned it in the beginning, but I've been doing these reflections from this little book called Praying with Jesus and Faustina. Uh, it was compiled by Susan Tasson, and it's basically all of it's taken from the diary of St. Faustina. It's Faustina talking and then Jesus speaking to her and Faustina again and then a prayer. So I hope you guys have been enjoying it. Pray together in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. During Holy Mass, I saw Jesus stretched out on the cross, and he said to me, My pupil, have great love for those who cause you suffering. Do good to those who hate you. I answered, Oh, my Master, you see very well that I feel no love for them, and that troubles me. And Jesus said to me, I am taking you into my school for the whole of Lent. I want to teach you how to suffer. I answered, With you, Lord, I am ready for everything. Jesus said, You are allowed to drink from the cup from which I drink. I give you that exclusive privilege today. You will recognize that you have love if, after having experienced annoyance and contradiction, you do not lose your peace, but pray for those who have made you suffer and wish them well. He who knows how to forgive prepares for himself many graces from God. As often as I look upon the cross, so often will I forgive with all of my heart. Oh, how good it is to call on Jesus for help during a conversation. Oh, how good it is 
during a moment of peace to beg for actual graces. I fear most of all this sort of confidential conversation. There is need of much divine light at times like this in order to speak with profit, both for the other person's soul and for one's own as well. God, however, come to our aid, but we have to ask him for it. Let no one trust too much in his own self. Dear Lord, give me strength to bear my crosses and to offer my sufferings in union with you and your mother, Our Lady of Sorrows. Amen. May the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you. Have a beautiful first Monday of Lent. The sun is shining here in Vermont, and I hope it's shining where you are too. See you tomorrow.